Hi, first of all, apologies for connecting you late on geopolitical issues, but uh, I just want to make it clear that uh, it's an election time in my state. So for a couple of months, I may be a bit late in talking to you, but you are always in my heart and mind. So we will talk about why United States of America has given the controversial cluster ammunitions to Ukraine and uh, you should not forget that these ammunitions are uh, actually illegal in almost 100 countries and most of these countries are European Union and uh, US ally countries. So even the human rights groups and even the uh, European countries, some of them are having some issues with that. But Never mind, they have given it to Ukrainians and they have also started using it on for Russians. So why this? First of all, this is uh, according to me, it is a move of desperation because the much talked, the much awaited, the counter offensive by Ukrainians have failed and it has not just failed, it has failed very badly and uh, we are not getting much reports about it from the western sources but if you go to social media and try to analyze you will come to know that uh, actually the russia the ukrainian counter offensive has failed and uh, after giving so much artillery and artillery ammunition to ukrainians even the united of states of america is short of ammunition particularly i think the uh, 155 artillery rounds and that is the reason they are going for cluster ammunition and uh, there is some fatigue I can see right now even in NATO because we are, uh, during the recent NATO summit the picture one picture will keep haunting Ukrainians for a long time was that when everybody was talking each other uh, Mr. Zelensky was very much alone it was looking that he is the outsider and he was the outsider in that meeting so he was feeling he was getting a feel there which was apparent from his face that he has been ignored and even if you look at the uh, uh, words of uh, uh, NATO chief uh, Mr. Stolent Stolentberg, uh, I'm not uh, repeating the exact word, but what he meant that Ukraine in order to join NATO must show more of the courage and more results. So they are leaving some things upon Ukrainians, but they, but uh, NATO and America won't give up so easily because giving up means the entire hegemony of west will also collapse along with the ukrainian front so they will keep on giving some stuff like cluster ammunition which can cause great troubles to ukraine to russians but uh, and they will also keep giving them some of uh, uh, the menless vehicles let it be aerial vehicles or road vehicles so that they can do something here and there like uh, that uh, uh, bridge uh, they destroyed they destroyed a portion of Kersh, Kersh bridge so these things will be there but ultimately this is a war of attrition and uh, in this war of attrition uh, ukraine cannot if you talk realistically cannot hold it gr its grounds and uh, Things will come apparent in front of everybody, leave aside the propaganda by the western media but things will be in front of the whole world and uh, next time we are going to talk about two issues. One is uh, the US-China relationship and uh, why the 100 year old former US secretary uh, is there in China and another issue is that grain deal uh, which was uh, actually done by turkey between russia and ukraine and now russia has moved out of it and what does it mean especially for countries of africa so we, we are going to talk about uh, kissinger in china and the grain deal in our next conversation take care bye bye